What is up everybody? It's your man Lukey, new setting. And for those of you who heard me on Ricky Potts' podcast, welcome for the first time. Today we are going to be playing Emerald Lakes, a nine-hole golf course in Sacramento that is heavily inspired, in my opinion, on the Pete Dye School of Architecture. What does that mean? Basically, you hit a bad shot, you're either in the water or have a very, very treacherous shot at the green. That's fine. It's very much target golf. It's for a nine-hole course, one of the most challenging nine-hole courses I've ever played. The greens are spectacular. They're very, very fast when they're not punched, but even when they were punched, they rolled above average for most courses that I play. So a very interesting course, but I think that what you have to really understand here is you're more than likely not going to play well at a course like Emerald Lakes because you're so specific where you have to play your shot and there's so much pressure and it's so tight to to reward yourself with a good shot. If you're not a standout collegiate golfer, if you're not a single digit handicapper, if you're not this or not that, this is the type of course that punishes every single flaw you have as a golfer. I would definitely take a lot of golf balls here, 10 to 15. You definitely need a lot because there is a lot of hazards that come into play. The fee is amazing. It's 12 to $20 for nine holes. Basically can't beat it. If you live in the area, this is a great golf course to learn golf on with the only downside being you could potentially lose six to eight golf balls every single time you play golf. The pace of play is fine. It's not the fastest. It's not the slowest. It's a very locals, uh, locals type of vibe. I personally find the course very charming. I think that they really put a lot of passion into the design when a lot of courses that I play like this feel a little phoned in. Emerald Lakes takes pride in the amount of property they have and the structural holes they have. I greatly recommend it to all people passing by that want to experience an enjoyable, difficult test of golf. Here we go. It's the Emerald Lakes vlog. It's at the end of a street. And this is the first hole. A lot of TPC sawgrass parallels here. First hole, which I didn't get my tee shot. You hit over the lake. It's about 300 yards. My approach shot was a wedge. And that's going to be a theme of the day. Been catching the ball heavy, not really striking the ball all that well. Came up short. This is viewed by many locals as a birdie hole. The greens last time I played this course were extremely tricky. Very fast. They had just been punched, so something to remember. They played a little on the slower side for me, pitched out to there. But if you go and play it typically, you're going to be playing a faster green. Some of the best kept greens in Sacramento, some might say. Second hole, really long par three, about 210. Um, some scenic power lines in the way. But this is basically, do you have a 200-yard shot? Took the two iron out of the bag, hit a low runner, and actually really missed in the right place. You just can't really go right. Everything goes wrong if you go right. There's that bunker, there's trees, there's towers. So you might notice the tripod came out for a second here. Just a simple chip didn't hit my spot. These greens really, really run out here. Had this putt coming back. You can tell the wind was going with me a little bit down there. Just gave the putt too much respect, but bogey bogey start, not the worst. Very, very tough course for how short it is. Narrow wedge shot, very much target golf like I had mentioned in the beginning. Wind was a little bit more in my face than I thought. Had a gap wedge and came up short. And last time I played this, it went all the way to the back. So that was kind of surprising. You've got a bunker in the front and you have a two-tiered green. This is what it looks like. And this, I really thought I made it, but if you look, that shows how much movement there are in the greens. That last foot really broke a lot. And that just speaks to the quality of the greens at this course. Didn't film this this well. If you watch the Paradise Valley vlog, sorry. This is kind of how Paradise Valley will look too. Little off my grind. That's one of the best drives I've ever hit. I hit a draw with my driver. I've been really terrible lately with my driver, but now I'm back to striking my irons terrible. So maybe that's going to be the trade-off. 
had about 235 into this par 5 wanted to kind of pull it in there and i hit the dreaded off the toe rush shot into the water and that is a feeling i think a lot of weekend golfers like myself feel this is what's hard about emerald lakes on a typical course i could probably still give myself a shot here pete die design one way to play the hole if you don't play it in that vision you're not going to be happy fluff to 60 and then put that to about two feet so disappointing from that drive so we make the turn that leads into this beautiful very much like sawgrass island green which sacramento has a lot of island greens really got lucky on this one caught the ball a little heavy although i do think part of the reason i was catching it heavy which sounds like an excuse the turf here is um digs in a little bit to your club face so i feel like it's easier to catch more of the ground here it's not as forgiving for people who hit behind the ball at times like myself that tends to be my miss not a very good chip it's an all uphill but i left myself with a very straight putt and your boy made it so that's a salvage of a par now this sums up what this course is the sixth hole if you can't get the ball airborne water's in play to your right if you hit it too far water's in play to the left so i just hit the two iron did not want to go left that was my goal i believed i could get it over the water which wasn't too far out this is what the water looks like and it's target golf you just have to put it in play i got it out to about the 150 very narrow fairway everything is because the property isn't the biggest property everything is very close together tried to hit a cut into this with a seven iron and just pulled the crap out of it ended up over here and hit one of the best chips i've hit in a long time i put it to about three to four feet from the pin you'll see in a second maybe it's about six six or seven but that was a really good chip from where i was and then i love it when i cash in on an up and down this is a par three that once again i was using a mid iron it was either a six or a five iron it's about 175 didn't strike it i tried to hit the cut i was i never hit a cut with my iron all day you're not going to see this but this was the best chip of the day i'm a little off screen hit a 60 degree wedge put it to about two feet and you're going to see it. it's a sloped green that's my ball tapped in 275 par four you will see me on the i'm trying to go over the bunkers pull it a little bit which is a welcome change with my driver fine with pulling it and i had pretty much the yardage i think i just didn't have the line and if you take an aggressive line those two bunkers come into play so keep that in mind i had about a 35 yard chip so here's the 35 yard chip my shoulders were aligned pretty bad on that one but it also the slope you won't see the slope here very well there's a bunker there it was almost an illegal pin where it was on a side slope where everything past the pin runs downhill so i just did not want that hit a good putt from off the green make par let's go last hole in a weird way reminds me of the road hole at st andrews you're gonna look and see that's water up there all along the right hand side but because of the design of this course it is completely hidden my goal here was to take three wood which anyone who's been watching the channel knows i've been having major confidence issues with my three wood i just wanted to hit that little pull shot and put it in play this is one of the few courses where i didn't take driver that's what you're looking at that you have to hit between basically and you want a shot that goes to the left this is really narrow it might not look narrow in the vlog but it's very narrow i put it in the fairway didn't hit a good nine iron but once again i'm looking on how do i miss like i'm trying to hit the cut if i pull it i'm fine with that there's water all along the right hand side keep that in mind if you're playing this course and now you're about to see one of the worst putts. I just hit that really bad. I hit it low, never had a chance, never had the speed. We give it another effort. I thought I made this and look at the break. Breaks at the hole. There we go, that's Emerald Lakes. 
thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate anyone that watches the videos, anyone that hits the subscribe button, likes, shares, and gives it to your friends and stuff. It really means a lot. This is a passion project. This is something that I've always wanted other people to do, and I'm taking the initiative to try it. So any grassroots support or anyone sharing the videos or offering comments or ideas really means a lot, and I'll take those to heart.